How sticky is it? Oh, I'm hoping it's not too bad. Right then, guys, you join me on a freezing cold day. And we are just about to move Freddy uh, from this field of rape to our little field of rape. Our small field is being absolutely hammered by the pigeons. And I got a, uh, a kite and we're going to move old Fred here over there and see if he can do some good over there in uh, keeping the pigeons off. This field of rape here, farmers decided with the agronomist that uh, it's a no-go. So we've made the decision now. Um, unfortunately, it was too thin. Uh, we were a week late in planting it and it's full of cabbage stem flea beetle. So whatever's there at the moment is actually going to disappear and when it disappears it will actually be too late to then plant spring crops. So uh, when eventually it is soaking wet out here, it's been so wet over the last uh, months, this is probably the best it's looked <laughs> in the last month. What the farmer will do is spray it off and we'll hoping that we can just drill straight into this with a spring crop. Old Freddy has done his job over here. Thank you for your... Ah, Come on, Fred. It's time to go. Oh. I'm hoping he just pulls out of here. Um, what have we got? It's going to look weird from people. Ah. Come on, Fred. Oh, yeah. Fred is on the move. I'm just hoping his wellies stay on. We had a good go out here, uh, but the agronomist as well with the cabbage stem flea beetle, we got charlic and we got other weeds as well trying to take control and uh, it's just not going to be worth it in the end, they said. So, but uh, that's okay. It's going to have done a job over the winter anyway and if it's done its job properly, we should be able to just come with a drill, drill straight in because the roots are quite big on them. Oh, I reckon I just ripped your ass. Oh, your welly's full of water, Fred. <laughs> that stinks. Come on, Fred. We've got a bit of work in to do. Because Peter's been digging a ditch. Ah, not too far. Only the end of the field. Oh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, the guys finished up there, put in a new culvert. We'll come back to that at the end. All right, I'm going to put him at the side of the field, just so it's harder for myself. You know, and we're going to put the kite at this end of the field. I'm hoping to God he's still got two wellies. <sighs> I am dying. He's heavy. I ain't doing too bad though. He's sort of just leaning on me. Right, we're almost there. What do you reckon there? What do you think, Fred? Yeah, that'll do. Because my back hurts. Ah! Oh yes, two wellies. We're doing all right. Okay. Right, you can see here, uh, pigeons are absolutely nailing it. Right. Whether this will do any good, I don't know, but we've got to do something. Can't put bird scarers down, bangers. Properties all around, it's not fair. There's horses next door, not fair on them just for one little field. What we're hoping is we get at least a ton, maybe a bit more of seed so that when the weather is right and if it's the right time, we can just uh, plant our own seed. Right, time to dig. <clears throat> we're on a tram line and this is where all the uh, this is where the oats 
were and none of the rape grew there because we didn't spray it off in time that shows you what the uh, effect is on oats that are in the ground stop everything else growing oh yeah look at that that didn't do too bad right we'll come back in a minute right there there's a hole whether that's deep enough i don't know let's do a test fit ready come on mate stop laying around back to work you've had a minute off oh i'll tell you what and bad your leg needs to be over there my friend that ain't bad Ugh. right let's get some dirt back in this dirt's like plasticine right, let's get some behind it oh my god I ain't cold no more, that's for sure. Stand up straight, boy. Uh, uh. Right, Fred. You listen to me, you listen good, okay? I don't want to see any more pigeons. I don't want to see any more pigeons in here, Fred. Got that sun? Right. Pep talk over. Fred's gonna look after things in here. We got a kite over there, look. That's good, that's a good thing. That'll keep birds off as well. Right, but just to help out as well, we got a Oh, there, uh, a kite in the car. Right, you're all right. You'll do nicely. He's lasted quite well. I'm quite pleased with him. Right, let's go and get the kite. Right, this is our little kite. Whoa, easy go, easy go, easy go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your time. Wait, your time. Whoa, 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 go, whoa, go. Right, so, I think it's pretty simple. We've got a pole, we've got a kite, and we've got oh, a stake to stick in the ground. Uh, that is just one solid stake. Okay, now, at the moment, we are getting easterlies, which is why it's so cold, but, oh my God, Freddie freaked me out then. I thought someone was watching me. Uh, but we normally get westerlies so we need to angle our kite angle the pole facing that way yes now whether this will just should have brought a hammer or something I reckon I'm going to have to dig her in right um what I'll do is dig her so far and then I guess stake her in and then tread her in after that. That'll work. Right. That can be my mark. Now I've never put one of these in before so I am just guessing how to do this. Can't be that hard, surely. Right, out you come mister. All right, that'll do. Oh. I don't know what sort of angle that's meant to be at. I'll try that. 
All right, put some soil around that, some water. Next job. Please don't blow away, kite. All right, I know what we need to do. We need to put you there with that on you just for a minute. Now one of these ends come off. That needs to go in my pocket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy tiger. Easy tiger. Not yet. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing this bone comes off, yes. Sweet. All right. Bungs in pocket. Whoa. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you now. That fits over there. Like that. Oh. Right, okay. This is quite tricky actually. I guess I attach the kite now. Um, sort of need to hold on to that. Huh. I need three arms. You come to me. I think we got our tip that up the other way. Only three people here. Yes, Kite, thank you. Thank you for helping. Lovely, yes. Okay. Let's tie this kite up. <laughs> oh, God. Right, which end goes on there, then? That end? Does that really go on there? I don't think so. Let's just put this up in the air. Let's just see what she does. Whoa! There she goes. Oh yeah! Woo! I don't trust it. I'm just going to tie it on, I think. I'm going to take that off. Would you trust that? I don't think it would go on there. It says clip it on. And we're not going to do that. We're just going to tie her on. Right, that's our clip. We're going to keep the clip because it might be important. Whoa, 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 hold on. Wrap that around my finger. Oh, I've just dropped my hand. Oh, I've stood on my glove now. For Christ's sake. This is not going smoothly. I didn't think it would. I need that and. I really need you not to do that, kite. This should be a two-person assembly. <laughs> please, please stop doing that. Trusty granny not, nothing ever gets around that. That'll never come undone.
Okay. It needs to come. Oh no. You're having a laugh. <laughs> How could this go any worse? Okay. Aha. My young kite here is on a clip. Thank God. You know what's going to happen. It's going to fly away. We all know what's going to happen. We should all just accept the fact that it's going to fly away. Right. That's how these things go. Farmer's like, yeah, that would only take you two minutes. No worries. Ten minutes later, still fiddling. Right. That can now be gone up there. Oh yeah. Hang on, you can't see that. Okay. Right, oh, that's not good. It's working. Right, whoa. That's a little annoying because the wind is going the wrong way. Whoa. I'm just going to step back and just see what that does. Uh-huh. Well, oh. oh, certainly working. I know the pole should be going with the wind. I know that, but the wind is normally westerly. And at the moment it's easterly. And at the moment it's caught itself on the pole. Ah, I wonder if that's going to free itself up. Probably not. All right, come to me. That's slightly annoying. Okay, right, I'm going to dig this thing in the right way around and then when the winds change, I'll come back around and redo it, I think. Or should I have it just facing crosswind? That might be a better way. Okay, right. Right there, we're going to have a take two at this. We've got winds coming from this way and normal winds come from this way. So what I thought is if I have it across, surely that's going to solve both issues and I won't have to come back out here. But let's just see if our madness turns out that way. Just go up. Oh. Well, she's flying. That's for sure. Right. Oh, yes, that's better. It's upside down. Will it turn itself the right way round? Let's hope so. Come on. You're upside down, kite. Why is it upside down? Okay. It'll right itself. Give it a minute. That's better. Now we're singing. Now we're singing. There we go. Now we're upside down. There we go. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? No pigeons shall enter my field again. Yes. Right then. So just to finish off, 
uh, Peter had dug the ditch out and what was happening was down at the other end we'll start there actually it's only about zero degrees but with the wind chill it's actually about minus four and I am frozen to the bone right so what was happening is water was flowing across the field over the driveway and into the property properties uh, and flooding the properties so um, and what we've done is actually created a low point here so the water can flow off the field if it does flood again it's rare that it does it but this year it's done it three or four times uh, but if it does do it again the water can at least come into this scrape here and flow down the ditch and away from the properties this way and the guys have put in a culvert which I'm going to show you now and uh, culvert is basically a pipe under a road that lets the water flow and all this soil on this side uh, whenever it becomes dry enough we're going to uh, there's a couple of low spots in some of these fields so we're just gonna before we drill hopefully if it dries enough we can get this soil over into the low spots Peter will level it all out and uh, be a nice job uh, so this is where Peter's been taking it taking the uh, ditch out and uh, this is the culvert that we put in so a load of hard stone so uh, we can take the combine in there and out of there as we please and uh, two big pipes at the bottom there to let the water go so that should cure all the problems here uh, which is a good thing anyway that is going to be it for this one um, yeah thanks very much for watching as always uh, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.